this tutorial on how to play Wild Love by James Bay. We're in standard tuning. We've got three chords. We've got an A, a B minor, and a G. You know how to play those chords? Go ahead and skip ahead. I'm going to teach you how to play those chords for now. So for an A chord, you're going to start with your middle finger on this third string down. That's the D string of the second fret. Your ring finger is going to tuck under on the second fret of the G, and your pinky is going to tuck under that on the second fret of the B string. So your fingers are all sandwiched into the second fret there. And we're going to play all of our strings except for this low E. There's our A chord. A B minor chord, <coughs> a little more difficult. Uh, it's a bar chord, but I'll show you how to play it as an open chord. So if you are a beginner, you can play the song. If you're playing it as a bar chord, you're going to bar the second fret from the A string down. So all the strings are barred except for this low E. Middle finger is going to be on the 3rd fret of your B string, ring finger is on the 4th fret of your D, and your pinky is tucked under on the 4th fret of the G. Okay, so if you're a beginner and you can't bar that, go ahead and lift your index finger, and you're just going to have your index finger on the 2nd fret of the A string. And now be careful not to play that high E, because that's no longer part of the chord. And if that's too difficult, you can just go ahead and take that finger off and have your A minor shape over here. Okay, so that's your B minor chord. For your G chord, your ring finger goes all the way up on the third fret of the high E, that's the topmost string here. Your middle finger goes all the way on the other side of the fretboard, and that is your low E string. And your index finger goes on the second fret of the A string. So there's your G chord. Okay, so let's talk about the progression now. So the progression goes like this. It just goes A, B minor, to G. A, B minor, to G. And this is a really easy song because that is the same progression that's played throughout pretty much the entire song. So, what am I doing there? I'm just picking my A my G and my B on each chord. And I switch to the low E root note on the G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can get a little tricky and start picking on each chord to spice up the song a little bit, so. Okay, and if you're playing that B minor as a beginner, it's the same thing, but just you're not borrowing the chord. And if you have to, just go ahead and do that A minor shape over here and just pluck those three strings. A, B minor, G. That's all there is to it. So it's a super simple song. There's that one bar chord in there, but I showed you how to play that as a beginner. Alright, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. I'll try and answer them. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.